Let's move on to the Olympics, Mike, and you're back, uh, back in the office, back writing. Uh, let's talk about some of your highlights from Sochi. Give them to us. I, you know, I, the, the, the best thing, obviously, it was a personal moment when I, you know, my cousin won a gold medal in half pipe skiing. Second I didn't, cousin. what's that? Second cousin. So you're right, second cousin, <laughs> who I didn't, who I actually hadn't seen since, <laughs> since 98 at a family reunion until I went out to visit him a week uh, before Sochi. And so, so I didn't really know him. I knew his, fa I knew his father pretty right. well, but I never knew him. And uh, just to get to know the guy, realize that he's completely driven and focused, which probably means we're not related. <laughs> right. And, and uh, just to see a different uh, side of the guy, just a, a, really, a really nice guy. He, go, he goes on Ellen last week, and literally they bring the baby out. He didn't even see it coming. He's blown away. It was, it's it's Disney-esque, but it happened and it was great. And you got to write about it. Yeah, and, and I did, got to write How did you guys sell it? Did you celebrate with this sort of long lost relative at all? Or uh, I, I did, I did, did a little bit, but they made, me, they made me hold this big baby popsicle stick fat head that was made because the, the child didn't get to come. Mm. So they did the big fat head and I had to hold the popsicle stick while they all celebrated. It was a little embarrassing, <laughs> but nonetheless, it was fun. Uh, the Russian hockey bar, these guys that were in this uh, bar in the, in, the bo in the bottom of the hotel, they were just the salt of the earth, guys. They stayed open all night. Uh, Vlad and Sasha, you couldn't make them up. They were out of central casting, uh, good dudes. And, um, you know, it was, it was a great time. You know, I know that people say this about the Olympics, um, uh, but it's true. Every, it reaffirms why I went into this business. You know, sports does bring people together, and you see it when you're in that bubble. You've seen it when you're in a locker sure. room. You see all the, after all the money and the greed and all the stuff we go through that has nothing to do with why you got into this business, it's kind of cool to see that now and then. And one of the best things was that there weren't any big safety threats or terrorist activity. I know well, you were worried about that going, well, on, well, going in on the front I end. mean, I, I, was, I was dreading this, these games like no other games. Mm -hmm. And when, by the time I got over there, I was just like, it's fine, it's secure. Good. I mean, when you don't blow up, you're good.